I can't really figure out Tim, and it kind of bothers me. Is he a jealous boyfriend or just someone who really cares about his girlfriend? I mean, clearly he's infatuated with Bix. We all get it. He's batting way above his usual average, and he's more than willing to do anything for her. There's a plan. Just lock up the back. I'll take care of all this. Thank you. Yep. Or is he just trying to get Bix out of the way here so that he could take a look at what she's glancing at on the computer? This is a bit manipulative, isn't it? And then when he sees that she was looking at a corporal bulletin about Andor being wanted by the police, what is he thinking exactly? Is it, oh damn, she's trying to hide that she's looking up Andor on the computer? Or is it, oh damn, I need to protect Bix from this criminal? When he goes to the bar and then creeps on Bix and Andor from afar, he's obviously pissed that she's blown him off to meet that shady character. Tim's, who's a little bit tipsy by this point, goes outside and calls the corpos, which makes sense. I mean, he's never really been that amused by Andor. She seems upset. It's good to see you, Tim. Seems like that happens every time you come around. But is this because he's jealous of Andor, which is a more simple reason? Or is it more that he's trying to be protective of Bix? Andor is wanted for murder after all. How would you feel if you were in this situation, if your girlfriend or boyfriend was hanging out with a potential felon? From the viewer's standpoint, Andor and Bix clearly aren't that much more than business partners. I mean, there's a thin air of sexual tension there. So let's not get emotional. But maybe it's ambiguous because viewers are supposed to use their own experiences to fill in the blanks. That's the key for engaging viewers, right? I originally assumed Tim wasn't jealous and just trying to be protective, but that's where my state of mind was when I was watching it. But let's say you just caught your significant other cheating. It's possible that would change how you see Tim, right? But then there's this scene, which really changed how I saw Tim. It's just downright creepy for someone to watch someone else when they're sleeping. Or is he just madly in love? I don't know. I guess for some, if the attention is wanted, it's kind of adorable to see this. Ugh. But then this happens, Tim kind of blows up his own spot and alerts Bix to his drunken call to the Popo. What do you mean? I need to go find him. No, Bix, no. Someone has to. It could be anywhere, tell her. Don't. Don't, don't what? He can take care of himself. Who? How do you know what we're talking about? It's not the brightest move. And then there's this last scene where he essentially suicides himself by running at an armed corpo. Yes, it's endearing that he cares so much about Bix, but it's not like they're about to kill her right then and there. This is just a really stupid move by him. I mean, how will he take care of Bix if he's dead? So maybe Tim is just a simple individual. I mean, who spells the name Tim with two M's anyway? Or perhaps Tim is none of these things I just said, and all of them at the same time. Maybe he's just a very nuanced character who, like real people in real life, are hard to define with just one quality or one word. It's just that you usually don't expect this level of detail and thought going into a background character. Well played, Tony Gilroy. Well played. Oh yeah, and we asked you guys on our Generation Tech channel what you think about Tim. Here are the results.